Welcome to this Bettis training video. In this training video, you will see how to change the fail action of a Bettis RPE series actuator. This video should be used in conjunction with the written instructions provided in the IOM manual, which is available for download from the Bettis RPE series website. Please check Appendix B of the manual for required tools and torque values. Check that the end cap is free and without spring load before removing the screws completely. Note the positions of the springs. When reassembling, they need to be placed back in the same positions. Turn actuator on its other side and repeat the same process. Remove limit stop bolts and nuts washer. Use a wrench and turn the pinion counterclockwise until the pistons come out of the body. Remove the pistons completely out of the body and rotate 180 degrees. Refer to manual chapters 9.3 and figure 29 for correct pinion alignment and piston orientation. Check that the orientation of pinion slot and the dot in the slot is correct. Put the pistons, limit stop bolts, nuts, washer, spring cartridges, and end caps back to housing. Place the springs back in their original positions. Turn actuator on its other side and repeat the same process. Change Configuration Sticker. Before mounting the actuator onto a valve, please execute the basic function and air leak test as per section 9.6 of the manual. 